PM to extremely damaging because they can straight away interfere with our human defensive mechanisms like <coughs> sneezing, swallowing, as well as other sort of involuntary human mechanisms. They can penetrate our trachea. They can easily get deep down our bloodstreams, thereby uh, damaging the healthy lungs of a healthy person. So the alarming bell has already rung and I would like to bring to the attention of this August House the seriousness of the issue and would like to persuade the union government as well as the state government to take proper measures as well as implement stringent laws concerning climate changes as well as air pollution. Well, uh, respected chairperson, this is not just the case in Delhi, but according to the air quality index of central pollution control boards, the ozone and the nitrogen oxide particles are increasing in Manali and Chennai as well as in recent times. This is a matter of personal concern to me because on November 17th, in Velacheri, in my South Chennai constituency, Tamil Nadu, the nitrogen dioxide was a permanent pollutant throughout the day. It remains so prominent as well as a permanent pollutant throughout that day. And the PM 2.5 levels were around 46 to 67 micrograms per cubic meter. In the Orlando depot in Tamil Nadu, it remained more than 110 micrograms per cubic meter throughout the day. But the present state government, instead of hitting the bull on the horn, just slumbered on it without taking any proper steps, neither being aware of the seriousness of the situations, nor taking any permanent preventive measures. Whereas, when our party leader, Dr. Kalanyar, was the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, and our party president, Mr. M. K. Stalin, was the deputy chief minister. Lot of lung spaces were created in Chennai. And I would insist that the present state government would take lessons from our Dr. Kalanger as well as from our party leader, Mr. M. K. Stalin, in uh, saving the environmental uh, facilities as from the episodes of air pollution as well as the global warming. Honorable uh, 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 Chairperson, I already stated that it is not a local issue, but it is a global issue. Now that India had been ranked at the upper end in the list of the most polluted countries with Georgia and Bangladesh, we need to take, a, take it up with the utmost urgency like a health emergency. Also, it is not a regional problem pertaining only to Delhi or to Manali or to Chennai. It is a problem of the tomorrow's youths, problem of today's as well as tomorrow's children. It is the problem of our posterity. And if we say that the destiny of the nation is known in the way in which, how it is treating its senior citizens as well as their children, I urge the union government as well as the state government through you to take proper steps to ensure the health and safety of the children which are the assets of the nation. Also, uh, our respected uh, member, uh, Mr. Uh, Honorable Sp uh, Member Mr. Manish Tiwari had spoken about China as a trendsetter. In that uh, pathway, I would like to bring attention to the House, the trend-setting attitude of the Londoners and the measures taken by the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, in 2016, when he was holding the office of Mayor, London Mayor, as the office of London Mayor, he declared the pollution rate of a city and declared it as a public health emergency stating that the children living and studying in pollution hotspots are growing up with underdeveloped and stunted lungs. Therefore, it is not just an environmental issue, but 
a health issue of utmost emergency. That's what he stated. And along with Rodriguez, his deputy mayor for environment and energy, he published the city's first ever integrated environment strategy, aiming to make London greener, cooler, and ready for future. Probably they would have taken the cue from the famous English saying that we have not inherited this earth from our ancestors, but we have borrowed it from our children. When London will take it, why not Delhi? Why not Chennai? But it is a journey of 1,000 miles. And I have a very shocking data to share in this house. Air pollution in India is estimated to kill about 1.5 million people every year. It is the fifth largest killer in India. India has the world's highest death rate from chronic respiratory diseases and asthma, according to the WHO. In Delhi, poor quality air irreversibly damages the lungs of 2.2 million or 50% of all children. Don't we take the measures of utmost emergency methods in the war front at the level of the climate change as well as to control the air pollution so that we can give a very safe planet to our posterity. After the great smog of Delhi in 2017, the air pollution spiked far beyond acceptable levels in the last two years too. Levels of PM 2.5 and PM 10 particulate matter hit 999 micrograms per cubic meter while the safe limits for those pollutants are just 60 and 100 respectively. Honorable Chairperson, Delhi is described as gas chamber. I am reminded of the lines of Shelley about wind, west wind in particular, which can be very well befitting to air also. He says, wild spirits, which are thou moving everywhere, destroyer and preserver, there or here. Air in Delhi is a destroyer rather than the preserver. And the air quality index of 999, sir, is equivalent of smoking 45 to 50 cigarettes a day. Very alarming it is. According to one study, Delhi citizens would live an average of extra nine years if Delhi met WHO air quality standards. Well, the popular myth about the cat says that every cat has nine lives. But can't or won't an individual is entitled to have that extra nine years if the government takes up the issue very seriously and work on it with stringent laws with the utmost care and preventive methods. Coming to the causes of the air pollution to note a few, I understand that vehicle emissions, wood burning fires, fires on agricultural land, exhaust from diesel generators, dust from construction sites, burning garbage and illegal industrial activities in Delhi or the haphazard factors. But blaming the voiceless firework manufacturers alone is not very fair. I come from Tamil Nadu and my village is next to Sivahasi, which thrives mainly on the firework industry. And just to blame the firework manufacturers is not very fair, just as we can't be blaming the burning of the agricultural wastage. And there are many other factors like fire in Balswar landfill, which is the cause for it. I would like to just uh, give a few uh, loopholes in Lakwana. The, the usage of machines called high volume samplers to measure PM 2.5 is not up to standard in India. Also, uh, there is a data manipulation. Most pollution control boards of states present outdated data. For example, Odisha has 2006 data on its website. Gujarat gives an annual average for 2009 to 10. 
No exact figure has been given, only the average figures have been given so far. One more uh, important uh, uh, fact which I would like to draw your attention is, sir, the Ministry of Earth Sciences published a research paper in October 2018 attributing almost 41% to vehicular, uh, vehicular emissions, to 21.5% to dust and 18% to industries. The Director of Centre for Science and Environment, I would like to uh, please... Uh, listen to this, sir, alleged that the Society of Indian Automobile Manufacturers is lobbying against the report because it is inconvenient to the automobile industry. So it is a very serious factor which I would like the government to take attention towards it. Also, the government, Indian government is imitative, parrot-like in adopting methods set by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agencies. For example, some of the machines only work when the temperature is between 25 and 35 degrees, not very properly uh, suitable, sir, just two minutes. Suitable? Just two minutes. For a tropical country like India. I have got a few uh, suggestions and questions. I would like to pose a few questions. Sir, there are other states around which follow slash and burn agriculture, but is there other states whose air quality index is this low as Delhi? Also, India being the part of the Paris climate change, has it been to any good of us? Has India taken up any fruitful tips from the treaty to tackle the situation in the emergency basis? Also, I would like to ask the Union Minister through you whether there is any major important policy decision in the pipeline to tackle this situation. And uh, a few solutions, sir. The major contributor uh, for the air pollution are the construction sites and the government, instead of making policies on the uh, shadow level or the cosmetic levels should make very strict laws, thereby insisting the compulsory covering of sheets around the construction areas and the burning of the debris should be banned inside the cities. One other way can be by introducing pre-fabrication and modular construction technique which is cheaper and cost and time effective. Also, I would like to uh, and conclude, one more, conclude. last one, one minute. Like to make an appeal through you, sir, to establish a state of art scientific labs to produce artificial rains in the beginning of the winter seasons to wash away and reduce particulate, particulate matter and other pollutants in the atmosphere. Great fight, Bharatiyar from Tamil Nadu, who can be kept on par with Rabindranath Tagore, has written beautiful lines about air. Yeah, Prana as a source, elixir of life. Katreva, Maharanda Thule Sumandu Hundu, Manadai Mai Luruthu Hindra, Iniya Vasana Yudanva, Alai Halin Meedum, Ilai Halin Meedum, Tavandu Hundu, Uraindu Hundu, Mikunda Prana Rasatai Yangaliku Kundu Vandu Kudu, Katre, Unai Vartu Hindro, Unak Patakal Pada Hindro, Unak Puhalchi Halkur Hindro. The English translation is. Oh, winds! I welcome you, the carrier of wonderful pollens, spreading the aroma of fragrant flowers. Come gently, kissing the leaves and waves. You bequeath the elixir of life to us. We sing in praise of you. We adore you in awe. We worship you with the bow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Srimati Dr. Kakoli Ghos Dastidar Ji. Shukriya Mananiya Adhyaksh Mahathir. May Apni Abhar Bhyakt Karti Hoon. May Apni Abhar Bhyakt Karti Hoon. Adhyaksh Mahathir.